Completely surrounded by South Africa is the small country of Lesotho, so why isn't it a part of it? Well, in 1795, the Netherlands had just fallen to the French, or more specifically, Napoleon. And so to protect the Dutch Cape Colony from the French, the British took it over. Lots of the Dutch settlers here did not like being under British rule, and so they packed their bags and left for the north. These people would go on to be known as the Boers, and they would try to establish republics of their own. Meanwhile, the then named Basuto land was created under the rule of King Mashoa Shoa. Problems arose, though, as Boers went further north and approached the Basuto, trying to establish republics on their land. So consequently, a series of wars erupted and caused the Basuto to lose half their territory. In order to not lose any more land, Mashoa Shoa asked for British protection, which they would receive soon after. A few years later, this protection would escalate to annexation by the nearby Cape Colony. The people didn't want this, and they especially didn't like that the British were looking to take away their guns. So they rebelled, and when the British went to stop them, it turned into a war which the British subsequently lost. Thereafter, Basuto land would become its own crown colony, and it would remain that way until their independence in 1966. This almost didn't happen though, when in 1910, the Union of South Africa was created and the British were looking to have Basuto land incorporated. But the lack of support by the Basuto put this plan to a standstill, and any chance of Basuto land joining South Africa ended in 1948, when the racist apartheid regime came into power. Okay, so if Lesotho couldn't be incorporated peacefully, why didn't South Africa just invade and annex it? Well first, that would mean that around a million people that don't like the government would be brought into the country. Second, South Africa would become a lot more internationally disliked and condemned than it already was. And third, Lesotho was already heavily reliant on South Africa for its economy, essentially making it a satellite state. So this means Lesotho will forever stay its own independent country, right? Well, its future might be more uncertain than you think. Support for Lesotho joining South Africa has increased over time. For one, Lesotho is the country with the second highest rate of HIV AIDS, which has caused the life expectancy to fall significantly. Also, also, just looking at their GDP per capita alone can already tell you why some are looking for their troubled country to be annexed. Some people in nearby Eswatini are also having the same question. So why isn't it also a part of South Africa? Click here to find out why and thank you for watching.